Epic fails in history, hilarious moments that changed everything. Get ready to travel back in time. Today, we're diving into some of the most comical and unexpected moments that, believe it or not, shaped the course of history. First up is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. A majestic miscalculation that turned a simple building project into a 200-year engineering nightmare. Picture this, it's the 12th century, and the people of Pisa decide they need a fancy new bell tower for their cathedral. Architects break ground, but little did they know, they were about to create a world-famous architectural upsie. As the tower started to rise, it soon became evident that something was off, literally. The foundation was built on unstable soil, causing the tower to lean at a precarious angle. But did they stop? No, they just went with it. Legend has it that the chief architect may have enjoyed a bit too much of the local wine, contributing to the miscalculation. But hey, who are we to judge? It gave us one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. Fast forward to 1962, when NASA was reaching for the stars but stumbled over a tiny hyphen. This is the story of Mariner 1, a spacecraft that embarked on an accidental journey to oblivion, all thanks to an overlooked punctuation mark. Yes, a $150 million oops a moment and a testament to the importance of proofreading. Picture the excitement in the NASA control room as Mariner 1, equipped with cutting-edge technology, was ready for liftoff. The mission? To explore Venus and unlock the secrets of our neighboring planet. But little did they know, a subtle hyphen had other plans. In the meticulous coding for the spacecraft's guidance system, a single hyphen was omitted. This seemingly innocent mistake caused the guidance system to misinterpret normal movements as serious deviations. And just like that, Mariner 1 was on a one-way ticket to oblivion. Now, this wasn't just any punctuation mark. This was the little hyphen that could, or rather, couldn't. A lesson to us all, even the smallest details matter, especially when you're hurling a $150 million spacecraft into the cosmos. Hold on to your compasses, because we're about to dive into a cartographic calamity that makes you question everything. Picture this, the 16th century, where a mapmaker named Martin Wald C. Muller created a masterpiece with a twist, a map so wrong, it featured an extra continent. Say hello to the birth of America, as a whole new landmass. In the age of exploration, Wald C. Muller was mapping the known world with the best information he had. But in an epic misinterpretation, he thought the recently discovered lands by Columbus were part of Asia. So, he gave this newfound expanse a name, America. Now, Wald C. Muller wasn't trying to pull a fast one on us. In fact, he named it after the explorer Amerigo Vespucci, thinking he had stumbled upon a whole new continent. Little did he know, it was the beginning of a cartographic twist that would puzzle historians for centuries. Imagine the confusion for sailors using that map. It's like giving someone directions and forgetting a whole street, an epic oops moment in mapmaking history. Picture this, a seemingly innocent slice of watermelon, a refreshingly sweet treat that, in 1863, became the unlikely trigger for a war. This is the curious tale of the War of a Thousand Days, a conflict between Ecuador and Colombia that started with a simple slice of fruit. In a diplomatic meeting between Ecuadorian and Colombian officials, tensions were simmering over territorial disputes. The atmosphere, however, took a bizarre turn when a plate of watermelon was brought to the table. Little did they know, this innocent fruit would become the catalyst for one of the most peculiar conflicts in history. As the negotiations heated up, a disagreement broke out over who had the right to enjoy the watermelon. It sounds absurd, but in that moment, the atmosphere went from diplomatic to downright fruity. The watermelon became a symbol of contention, and before anyone could say a seedless, war was declared. The War of a Thousand Days lasted for, well, more than a thousand days, causing immense suffering and strife for the people involved. All because of a disagreement over a simple summer fruit. Who would have thought that a watermelon could be such a juicy catalyst for conflict? It's a reminder that even the smallest things can have unexpected consequences, in this case, a war that lasted far longer than anyone anticipated. Let's rewind the clock to 1788, a time when war strategy and a little too much schnapps led to a truly bizarre event. 
The tale is of the Austrian army's unforgettable night, the night they attacked themselves. As darkness fell upon the Austrian camp, confusion started to brew. Picture this, a foggy night, tired soldiers, and a generous supply of schnapps making the rounds. In the midst of the revelry, communication lines blurred, and orders became as hazy as the soldiers' vision. In this fog of war, and perhaps a fog of schnapps, the Austrian soldiers started mistaking their own comrades for enemy troops. Battle cries echo through the night as 10,000 soldiers found themselves in an unintentional self-battle, turning what was supposed to be a strategic night into a chaotic free-for-all. Legend has it that some soldiers even mistook the moonlight for the glint of enemy bayonets, leading to some awkward apologies the next morning. So, what do we learn from this historic mix-up? Maybe lay off the schnapps before planning a military campaign. It's a cautionary tale of how a little too much liquid courage can lead to a not-so-courageous self-battle. Remember, history is not just a collection of facts. It's a treasure trove of incredible stories waiting to be uncovered. So, until our next expedition, keep exploring, keep learning, and may your curiosity always lead you to the most unexpected corners of our shared past. Got a favorite historical fail? Share it in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up with our journey through history's most bewildering blunders.